In today's episode of having weapon classes fight each other for no reason, we have the greatswords versus the curved greatswords. Now, why are we comparing these two? Because I feel like it. And they are very similar in how they work when you look at their range, their damage, and their speed. They are very comparable. Now, we are going to make a bunch of different categories, pit them up against each other in those categories, and try and figure out which one's best for which scenario. As always, there are timestamps down below. Please do like and subscribe if you know what's good for you. Follow me on Twitch, please. Anyway, let's get started. Starting off with variety, this one's not even close. Great Swords, take this by a mile. This is definitely the best variety in the entire game in terms of a weapon category. Great Swords, definitely an S tier. They have everything for strength, dexterity type builds, stuff that have a differing moveset and they claim more. Banished Knight Sword, Death's Poker, stuff that have good bleed options in terms of the Forked Great Sword, the Flamberge, very good faith based options in the Blasphemous Blade, Sacred Relic Sword, good intelligence options in the Dark Moon Great Sword. Death's Poker, a very high damaging boss melting machine in the Marius Executioner's Greatsword, and then there's even some more on top of all of that, so yeah, definitely the best in the entire game. As for the curved Greatswords, they can be pretty decent in terms of variety, however, I'm still not going to hold a candle to regular Greatswords because there's literally less than half the amount of curved Greatswords compared to regular Greatswords, but decent options for dexterity, decent options for strength, good quality option that it can do bleed, good arcane bleed option, good option for faith, an option for intelligence, although it sucks, you had to have stuff that have differing movesets in the Omen Cleaver, Magworm Scale Sword, and the Zemur Curve Sword, even though there's a more Curve Sword, sucks ass as well. But there is some variety here, probably give it an A tier, but obviously gonna pale in comparison compared to the Great Sword. As for the movesets, we are only gonna talk about the generic basic movesets of these weapon categories, so anything that's slightly unique, like the Claymore for instance, we're not gonna talk about that. But as for the one-handed movesets, with the Great Sword, Light Attacks, Horizontal Swipes, pretty much the same thing with the Curved Great Swords. As for heavy attacks, probably like the Greatswords a little bit better because it's an overhead slam, which is more variety, compared to this another horizontal swipe with the curved Greatsword. But as for the two-handed combo, the Greatsword gets vertical swipes, whereas the curved Greatsword gets more diagonal swipes, which flow nicer, which I tend to prefer. Um, but it really starts to separate itself with the running attacks, which I definitely prefer the curved Greatswords in this one because they come out very, very fast, nice horizontal swipe, covers decent range, whereas the Greatswords come out a little bit slower, which I don't really like. Uh, jumping attacks are very similar. As for the power stance combos, they're literally identical to a T. Exactly the same. Flat attack combo, rolling attacks, running attacks, jumping attacks. It's all the exact same. So with that being said, I'd probably lean more towards the curved greatsword to have the better moveset. As for Ash of War options, this one's easy. Greatswords literally have everything that curved greatswords have, but curved greatswords do not have the same options as regular greatswords. They're missing Impaling Thrust, Piercing Fang, Blood Tax, and Giant Hunt. Now, as for the first three options, I don't really care much for those in terms of having it on a greatsword. Impaling Thrust and Piercing Fang, I tend to like them more on smaller based weapons because they can stagger, whereas Curved Greatswords already do have decent stagger potential. But Giant Hunt is definitely a big blow because that's very good at dealing a lot of damage and it can send enemies flying as well. But both still have very solid options for Ash of Wars. Probably put them both into the S tier, but obviously Greatswords is going to win this one out because of Giant Hunt. The best greatswords and curved greatswords for PvE. Now, on screen right now, this is my top 10 for both of these. Obviously, the blue signifying the greatswords, the yellow signifying the curved greatswords. And not going to talk too deeply onto this one because I already have separate tier lists that I've done within the last week. Link down below. But yeah, this is not even close. Greatswords house some of the best weapons in the entire game, especially the Darkwing Greatsword and the Blasphemous Blade. They're absolutely amazing. Death's Poker is a very solid option. Mary's Executioner Sword is a boss melting machine. But yeah, the Curved Greatswords do have decent options. The Bloodhound's Fang is definitely one of the best weapons in the entire game. It's unfortunately had to go up against the Blasphemous Blade and the Dark Moon Greatsword. Magworm Scale Sword is very good at damage as well. Probably end up putting the Curved Greatsword in like the A tier overall for PvE weapon options, purely because of Bloodhound's Fang. But yeah, the Greatswords are like an S tier. Probably like an SS tier. They're that good. The best PvP weapons. Now, on screen is my top five weapons. The reason I did a top five and not a top ten is because I tend to find a lot of Greatswords mid, so it wasn't really point to doing a top 10. A reason I don't really like greatswords in PvP is because they tend to have a very bad moveset. I don't like it that much. The curved greatswords feel a lot more smooth, especially with the two-handed light attack and the running attacks. Uh, this list is just for dueling, by the way. If you want to know about invasions and arenas, anything that has a high damaging projectile attack is just going to be good. But as for this list, only greatswords I actually have on here are the ones that have a unique moveset, so the Claymore and the Banished Knight Sword. Uh, but all the curved greatswords I have in here are just very solid. Top to bottom, if you want to know more of my opinions, just check out my tier list. They do incorporate the PvP side of things as well. I could have added the Ordovus's Greatsword onto this list, but I don't really care for the moves. And even though the Ash War is still pretty good. So yeah, definitely prefer Curved Greatswords on this list. Probably give Curved Greatswords an A tier 
for PvP options, and then the Great Sword will probably give them a B tier. But that concludes everything. Hopefully you learned something. If you didn't, that's fine as well. Uh, please do like and subscribe and do follow my Twitch channel because this is where I do all of my tier lists and make up these top 10s and things like that. So if you do want to get more involved, do check me out there. But that's it for this one, guys. See you in the next. Bye.